Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at how to check your BIOS version. I know for a lot of people the BIOS is a little bit of a scary area, you're told to stay away from it, only update it if you need to. So at some point you might need to check your BIOS version to see if you have an update due because a lot of troubleshooting, there's quite a few guides on here where BIOS is the problem and it fixes some, some problems. So if you have to, let's find out what you need to do. There's four ways I can think of and I'm going to do it from the most likely best case for you and work our way down with some other information that you can use but not as good so we're going to use the windows key plus r quite a bit here that brings up the run dialog and then you just put in ms info 32 press enter or click on the ok and here's your bios version right here now what i like about this is that you can find out your computer manufacturer motherboard and then you can look it all up. I'm in a virtual machine so everything's going to look a little different than it does on my screenshot which is why I like to have this in the background. As you can see I have an HP Omen, I have a system SKU, processor, all the information I need right here. Omen by HP Desktop PC 872X. Look that up, I can check my BIOS and see what the latest version is and compare with this. And again, as I mentioned, because I'm in a virtual machine, it's not going to show the same numbers in the virtual machine that my screenshots do. As you can see, it's going to see it's something different. But that's okay. It'll work for you. The DirectX Diagnostic Tool. Now, that gives you info about DirectX, about your drivers, but also has system information, including your BIOS. So once again, let's bring up the Run dialog with the Windows key plus R. Type in DX Diag. Press Enter or OK. And you can see that your BIOS version is right here. And once again, my BIOS is F23. And you can get other system information. This also provides on your computer the system manufacturer, the model, your motherboard type, etc. So you can get all the information you want there as well. As you can see, these two are really, really easy to do. Nice graphical user interface for you. All the information you possibly need to find out your BIOS version. And that pretty much covers most of the guy. But if you're curious, you can do it with the command prompts. What we want to do is we want to copy this here. Right click copy without the period at the end. And press the Windows key plus X on Windows 10 and open Windows PowerShell by clicking here. I always run it as admin just as a habit. I don't think you need to here but it's a good habit to be in. Now press Control V and this is going to give you the least amount of information of everything else because it's specific to just give me my BIOS version. And there it is right there. Neat. Now the registry, probably not something you really, really want to play around with. It's kind of pointless. But what you need to know is all the information you just saw in the last three steps is all stored in your registry. So let's open a registry editor by pressing the Windows key plus R and type in regedit. Enter or OK and copy and paste this line right here bios right to there copy in some cases let's see how this works out there it is now you're at the bios you're actually going to have to even be put in there usually you're going to have to click on the bios and when you're at the bios you'd have to find the bios version there and why it's not here is beyond me i've had a couple problems with this but it could be due to the fact again that i'm in a virtual machine so Oh, I'm in System Central Processor, BIOS, System. Yeah, it's not in here. It's going to be looking, though, just like this on your machine. As you can see, BIOS, and there is your BIOS version right there. So for some strange reason, the virtual machine isn't working right. Or I'm doing something really stupid. Local Machine Hardware Description System BIOS. Yeah, I'm in the right place. So look for it right there and again that's just more a little bit of information for you just so that you can understand where all this information is stored you can see the HP some of the product information you can see that it's listed as an omen right here so all that information you saw up here is just pulling it from the registry but I like the GUI the graphical user interface it works better for people and there it is right there plain as day so if you're uncomfortable unfamiliar Use step one, use step two, once again, step three and step four. Three is basic, and step four is more for your information. So there you go. All right, everybody. As always, we appreciate the new likes. We appreciate the shares. We appreciate the subscribes. You guys have been great. Thanks for watching, as always, and we will see you next time.